history of the vaccine. Do you ever stop and think about where modern medicine began? Vaccines have been essential to modern medicine since their creation in the late 1700s. From the invention of the first vaccine, so much has been learned about viruses themselves, and this has had an amazing effect on medicine and everyone to this day. Vaccines have been a wonderful creation for the advancement of modern medicine, starting off with Edward Jenner and his research in 1796 to look for a smallpox immunity. This ultimately inspired Louis Pasteur's vaccine in 1879. He was important because he was the first to create his vaccine for chicken cholera in a lab. And the more renowned Jonas Salk, often referred to as the father of modern medicine, he created the polio vaccine in 1955, saving many lives. All three of these men and many others like them led to the flourishment in the 20th century for virus research. They were able to recreate viruses and then make vaccines from their recreations. The polio vaccine was one of these vaccines created during this time. Also during this time, they found vaccines for measles, mumps, and rubella, which have been affecting mankind since forever. Since the beginning of the studies of vaccines, we have learned so much about viruses themselves. For example, what exactly is a virus? A virus is a small parasite that overtakes the immune system and can reproduce itself based off of the host cells that it affects. There are 10 to the 31 power viruses in the world. That is more than there are stars. A virus is a DNA or RNA genome or genetic information inside a protein shell called a capsid. Now what exactly happens when you get a virus? As said earlier, these clones, it makes clones to make you sick. So you are more virus than you are a body. And then we have it more in depth. First, the virus attaches to your host cell or your body due to aerosols and infection of aerosols, which are particles that make you sick. Then it has entry where the virus actually seeps into your host cell. And replication and gene expression is the next step and the most important for the virus. The virus DNA or RNA information is copied and its genes are copied to make viral proteins. More in depth, you have the capsid comes in part, it makes copies of the genome, viral proteins, and then it goes to assembly stage where all these new virus particles assemble so that they can ultimately to release, which is where they're released into the body to do more damage. Now that doctors and scientists know more about viruses, they've been able to save millions. For example, life-saving vaccines are created almost every day. Chicken pox, some types of influenza, polio, and many more viruses have been cured practically because of vaccines. Researchers believe 21 million hospitalizations and 700,000 lives are saved every year due to vaccines. There is four types of a vaccine. First is a lead virus, which is the virus in a weakened form. Then you have a kill virus, which is a small part of a virus or bacteria in the vaccine. And then you have a toxoid vaccine, which contains a toxin or a chemical made by the virus. This can only, however, protect you from the harmful effects like fever or headache or nausea. And lastly, there is biosynthetic vaccines. They contain man-made chemicals that are similar to the virus itself. All of this research has led to help for future research, which we are in, always in need of, including today. Due to all the advancements in vaccines, scientists can now create new vaccines for new or reoccurring viruses at the drop of a hat. Many are saved every year or every day, and deathly diseases are relieved. Viruses and vaccines are essential to modern medicine because without them, we would have so many viruses infecting humanity and it would not be good for anybody. Continuous research also means there will be eventually no more threats to humanity itself. But you always need to remember, practice good hygiene and proper protocols when it comes to when you're in sick. We want to prevent the spread while also researching the spread. Thank you.